Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you where you can get the Shin Gun, the prototype Shin Gun Mark V and this one is a special submachine gun, it's an iconic legendary submachine gun uh, and I'm going to show you why it's special and why I like it. Now a moment before we get to the gameplay and where you can get it, uh, this is the stats, let's just split it up so we can see, see it in large. And you see fires explosive rounds, uh, the modified automatic targeting system guides bullet to up to three targets while aiming, perfect for when you are outnumbered. So basically only when you're aiming, it will be able to shoot bullets on the two three targets. But you're gonna say, all right, if it's spread, it take time to eliminate enemies. Well, this is true, uh, but keep in mind that if you want to really make the best out of it, you need to really uh, amplify uh, the burn uh, uh, effect of this weapon. So pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm aiming and it automatically locks. This is a smart weapon, keep this in mind. Uh, but you need smart to activate the, the bullets. Now look what happens. Right, it locks on those three enemies. You see, the bullets hit three enemies. Probably uh, maybe in random. But you see, continue hitting those three enemies uh, at a time. But keep in mind that when bullets hit enemies, they have a chance to actually burn. However, the burn chance here is relatively low, but we can increase it. Now, I already did something like that with the Fen Rear, uh, which I really like, and this is one of the reasons I like it so much because it has a base burn uh, a chance, high chance, a 60%, I think, compared to 10 on this one that we have. Uh, see, this one is burn chance 16, I think this one is six, 16, so it was higher. But you can add these modes. Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah. The combat amplifier. Actually, searching for this in higher ones. Uh, but this is, you see, increased chance to uh, apply damage related service by five. So basically, what we want is, and this is very, very good because with this one, I need to aim uh, in order to do it. With this one, uh, not this one, this one, uh, the Shingen Mark V, this is automatically. So this is kind of, you have extra advantage. But the thing is that you don't want to waste bullets, you just want the enemies to actually burn. And for this to be very effective, in my opinion, if you're creating a build with this, you need to add these mods into this weapon as well to make the best of it. If not, uh, you're probably going to get out of bullets pretty quickly in tough uh, engagement, tough fights. However, there's one caveat though. The advantage of the Fenrir is because you can aim and just shoot single bullets at the target, you don't rely on this random targeting. So basically you spend less bullets and you can eat like one, two bullets on this one, one, two bullets on the other one. And you can really aim and do this uh, very, because it's very, very accurate weapon. So in my opinion, still different rear seems like a better choice, but this is another option. Uh, if you want to go with the build that I'm actually using by just burning enemies. So again, in general, I think the different rear again is better because you have control over where the bullets go. All right, location, Santo Domingo. Uh, you can see it is in the center. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly where I am located. Uh, and it's going to be inside a container, kind of hidden you know, out of your sight, but I'm going to show you exactly where you can get it. So this is the location where you need to go. Don't need any specific mission, just go there. Now you can decide how you want to do this. You can just go and hack it and be very silent. You can just go and, you know, uh, and just just eliminate everybody there you decide how you want to do this but if you want to do it really quick uh, you can just go enter in this entrance and go to the left side continue straight until then and then turn right uh, you're gonna see where I actually uh, how I did it uh, it doesn't matter here you know I can hack but you know eventually just because I like shooting you know I just go through and I didn't care I, I mean I just want to told myself I'm just gonna go and grab it and just get out and you can do this you can just rush there and pick it up the thing is this you don't need to save and load here you know the technique for legendaries because i tried it four times and every time i got the same stats so i mean you can try if you like but for me same stats all the time so it doesn't really matter so you can just go grab it get out so again you can either go straight but i go left again if you do still probably gonna go left uh and here we're gonna continue you know at the wall straight uh, behind these containers. Just continue going and going. And eventually uh, we're going to turn right. And you're going to see the containers there. There's one container, open container. You can't see the legendary just yet. I'm actually attacking just one of them. Oh, I love my, my, I love this weapon so much. It's a uh, fan rear. Just amazing. 
the more you play it, the more you find out useful it is. So much. All right, continue going uh, straight. Uh, again, if you're going with force, just eliminate. Ah, uh, skippy, of course, for the rest of you every single time. Oh, this gun is so OP. Um, another one. And you're going to see the container right after we go here. We're going to turn right. You see this container? Oh, no, so not this container. The other one. This one. The open one. This one inside, you're going to see here. We're going to get inside. Oh, by the way, I forgot. There's a bomb there. Be careful. <laughs> Just take it out. Uh, I almost died there. And there it is. There you can find it. This is the location. Now, as I told you, you don't need to load and save. You can try it out. I got the same specs every single time that I did load and save, you know, so you can try it yourself. But, you know, you can just grab it and get out. Now, if you want my opinion, the best thing is either uh, focus on abilities that increase the submachine gun damage and everything in the submachine gun to really make the best out of this specific ability to target many enemies at the same time. So you can just wipe them very, very fast. Um, and, of course, remember to aim. Uh, the other thing is that you can actually just use it with the burning like I do with the Fenrir. Although, personally, I think the Fenrir is still better in that aspect. Uh, you're going to get higher chance uh, to burn and you're going to be very precise and you can just shoot single bullets instead of just uh, rely on the smart. Also, with some enemies that, you know, are kind of move very fast and you can't even hit them with the smart, the Fenrir can still be a very good option for you. Again, it has many advantages overall, so... Again, your decision, but definitely if you're going to use it and want to make the best of this weapon, uh, you need to upgrade your submachine gun uh, skills uh, so you can, can really benefit from this. Uh, you need to do lots of damage with submachine gun to really wipe enemies because if not, you're going to spend lots of bullets and then you're going to find out that your magazine is empty and it's going to be a bit useless. Uh, again, also pay attention when you burn enemies. So, you know, if you burn enemies, they're probably going to die from the burn. So, we don't need like to shoot them. But in this case, the problem is that you have no control over it. So, hey, this is kind of a you know a weird weapon, but uh, again, it can be very good. It's very the nice perk of a shooting enemies, three enemies at a time, can be really good to clear uh, you know a bunch of enemies uh, relatively fast, as long as you are investing in submachine guns, uh, submachine gun perks. All right, so let's compare the Fenrir. The Fenrir, what, one of the best advantage of the Fenrir is, uh, you see, reduce bullet spread and increase bullet impact at the cost of high recoil. We cancel the recoil because of the mode. Uh, but again, it's, it's very tight bullet, so we can actually be very accurate with this weapon, especially uh, if you put the eliminate vertical recoil. You can also put in the other gun, yeah, to eliminate the recoil. But here, it's not, it's a power one. So we don't actually need to rely on... Uh, smart targeting so i'm going to show you how it works all right let's go oh oh the enemies there all right let's do this i'm going to shoot one two bullets you know at enemies i'm very reserved when uh preservative when it comes to bullets you're going to see why i don't need lots of bullets with this one to burn enemies all right look let's try one didn't work another one you see it burns yeah burning you see I can be very accurate. I can just dance and just move, take cover, whatever. And because they're going to die, it doesn't matter. You see, I can count it in just a few bullets, even one bullet. And I can, I can even snipe enemies from far behind cover. You can just play with them. It doesn't matter. Oh, more. Oh, oh, it's not burning. Oh, now it burns. So I don't need to, to spend lots of bullets. Even if I miss, you see, and I can actually see where they are located, you know, where I'm burning. This is all so much fun. You see, they're going to die. Yeah, both of them, you see? So, and I spend, you know, much less bullets. Even now in the magazine, in the magazine I don't have a lot, you see? But the seal is so, it's so good. Oh, this one's still alive. Not anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue showing you a bit more, uh, you know, so you can actually see. And this is why I like having control, uh, not relying on the smart capability of the weapon. All right. And that's it. Three of them are burning. I can just be here and it's going to die. Going to die. After some time, they don't even shoot. I, mean, I don't think it. I think it's half health, but I'm not sure. It's just gonna die, uh, and they stop shooting at you. It's cool. That's <laughs> the sound effect. All right. So again, now we can see the advantage, right? Uh, I can just focus. I don't need lots of bullets. 
Yeah, three burning. See, how, how many bullets? I shoot like, I don't know, five bullets? And that's it. Okay, missed. That's it. You see, they stop shooting. Ah, he's gonna stop shooting very soon. Yeah. All right, I think you understand the point, right? Uh, it's like relying on the uh, on the damage, uh, the burn damage, rather than, than the bullets. So you don't care about the other stats. And this is why the Fenrir is so so useful and powerful. And uh, of course, we can also do damage, and it's very very accurate. And this is not even upgraded for SMGs. Now uh, you can check my other video where I upgraded the SMG skills. It was you know everything was feel so much responsive i'm moving fast and i'm aiming super fast i reload super fast so you can check i'm actually going to link to it at the top so you can actually see or check my channel and you can see uh why the fun reef for this particular burn build is so useful so this is it i hope you find this one useful more videos are coming so make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh consider leaving a like if you find this one useful again more coming so make sure you check out my other videos about legendary weapons I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.